What is up, guys? It's Austin, back at it again with another Tier List Tuesday. Uh, coming at you this time with the seventh generation of video games. Wow, what a stacked list. I'm really nervous because I feel like this is going to be a little bit skewed. So kind of like our Generation 8 video game tier list, which I think uh, got a really long-winded, by the way. Um, I think this one might end up being a little long-winded, too. But it actually has less in it that I've actually played. So I think in that regard, we'll have a little bit uh, easier time with it. As always, these are my opinions, guys. Um, I'm happy to hear what your other opinions are in the comments. Please let me know what your thoughts are on these video games because I'm really passionate about a lot of them uh, and I can see that this list may be very skewed in one direction because uh, I see a lot of really great games on this list so I want you guys to know that just because I don't like a game as much as maybe you do does not mean that um, I like that game you know any worse also I want to clarify something when I put something in the masterpiece tier, I really believe that it is something that either is the pinnacle of its, the, like, the definitive game of its genre. And by that, I don't mean, like, I'm going to put the best Assassin's Creed game in masterpiece. Or I'm going to put Black Ops 2 in masterpiece because it's the best Call of Duty game, in my opinion. No, I'm not going to do that. Right? I'm only going to put games in the masterpiece category for very very specific reasons and we'll get into that as we go so let's start with assassin's creed 3 now i'm going to be honest with you guys i have not played a lot of the early assassin's creed games i don't even think i've played revelations more than a little bit so i'm actually gonna put that up here i didn't start playing assassin's creed games until assassin's creed 3 i loved assassin's creed 3 when it came out is it a little bit bloated in the early half? Yes. Yes, it definitely is. Um, does it have its story issues? Yeah, yeah, it does. But to me, Assassin's Creed 3 is like one of those games in the series that it's not quite elevated. And I just realized that Assassin's Creed Black Flag is not in this, I don't think. Unless I miss it. Look at all these games that I haven't played. You know, talk about you know being but, but black flag is not in this and black flag was not in my playstation or eighth generation tier list either which is kind of crazy so i would put black flag at amazing just for preference it, and just letting you guys know ahead of time i played black flag on the playstation 4 so i don't know why i didn't realize it there when i was going through the assassin's creed games but I think Black Flag would go in amazing, and I think Assassin's Creed 3 goes in very, very high great tier. I know there's not anything else to compare it to, but I do think that this is it's a, it's a very good game. Uh, Arkham Asylum, I think, is great. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the Arkham games real quick. This is how I rank the Arkham games. I think Arkham Asylum is better than Arkham Origins, and Arkham City is the best. I think I put Arkham Knight in great. I think the only one that I actually put in amazing is Arkham City. It's much darker tonally. They're all really dark games, but Arkham City just has a different air and ambiance to it that I really, really enjoy. Um, the combat system in these games is really, really fun. A lot of people uh, took the combat system from these games and actually Assassin's Creed. Like, Assassin's Creed had that sort of, like, counter-heavy um, combat system at this time as well. And so I think that just in and of itself, like, lends to... A more um, you know enjoyable experience in general uh, so I think that that is kind of where those go now this is gonna be this is gonna be tough the battlefield games if I'm ranking it on multiplayer alone I think battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 are amazing if I rank it on story alone I think battlefield bad company 2 is amazing I've not played a lot of Battlefield Bad Company 2's multiplayer, though, so I'm not sure. Um, but I think overall, I'm going to actually put these in great in this order. I think they're all three great Battlefield games. 
I think if you're a big Battlefield fan, you're really going to love these games. But I didn't play enough of them to really know whether they would escalate into the amazing category. And I got a bad feeling that category is going to be really stacked later on. So I want to put these here. Bayonetta. I played the first Bayonetta game. Uh, I did not play the other ones. I think it's, I think it's great. Uh, I'm, I think it's great. I think it's a really good action RPG. It's not necessarily one of my like pinnacle or like you have to play this game. Bayonetta has more issues than Bayonetta uh, 2 and 3 from what I've heard. I've not played Bayonetta 2 yet. I'm in the process. So I will let you guys know whenever I get that one wrapped up and finished uh, how I feel about that one. Bioshock 2 is mediocre. Ooh controversial opinion i didn't like bioshock 2 gameplay is really really fun actually gameplay probably elevates it at least to great uh but story is just it just leaves so much to be desired um in my opinion speaking of the other bioshock games gosh see this is this is where it is hard for me because when i think about some of the most impactful games on me personally, Bioshock Infinite comes to mind. I have a key on my keychain right now that is the key that um, Elizabeth has with the bird on one side and the cage on the other. I've kept that since I played Bioshock Infinite and bought that key because that game had that much of a personal impact on me. The story is incredible. The, you know... Everything about this game is incredible. And so it's amazing. A really high amazing. Because I have not... I've played this game, I think, three times. I think I've played Bioshock like four times. Because Bioshock changed the way that I perceived games. I played Bioshock Infinite first. Then I went back and played Bioshock 1 and 2. And because of that way that I played that, I think I have more fondness of Bioshock Infinite than some other people who like the Bioshock games. I think a lot of people put Bioshock Infinite a little bit lower because it's not as much emphasis on the survival horror aspects of it and more emphasis on just blatant, um, like, uh, it's more of an action shooter game uh, but it still has such an incredible story that I just can't Um, Borderlands Borderlands is great Borderlands is great I don't enjoy Borderlands 1 as much as Borderlands 2 Borderlands 3 or any of the others Um, and I really really love Borderlands 3 2 I think it's amazing I think for a lot of people Borderlands 2 could go into the masterpiece tier um for me personally i played a crap ton of this game but there's a lot of games on this list that i played a ton of that i don't necessarily think think are masterpieces in my opinion um i do think borderlands 2 is the best looter shooter that's come out ever i think if you remember last time i only put borderlands 3 on the amazing on the um generation 8 tier list oh and now we're getting into the call of duty ranking which is gonna be fun Oh, gosh. I, wow. Let's just do it. All right. I think COD 4 goes right there. I think Black Ops 2 is amazing. I think Black Ops 1 is amazing. I think Modern Warfare 2 goes right there. Probably lower than Modern Warfare, in my opinion. I think Modern Warfare 3 is amazing. I think Call of Duty World at War is amazing. Wow, that was, um, that hurt a little bit, actually. Put Borderlands 2 up there, higher than those. Um, E, <laughs> I can't believe that I just did that. I, I played a crap ton of all these games. And it's, it's more about, like, the quality of the package. I think Modern Warfare 3 is the best Modern Warfare game. I think that it got too much hate for being too similar to Modern Warfare 2. But why, if everybody loved Modern Warfare 2 so much, and they did everything right and fixed all of the things that were wrong with Modern Warfare 2, why does that make it a worse game? I don't understand that. I've never understood that. I think Modern Warfare 3 is the best of the series, um, and I or not series, but of the trilogy, 
I think it still think it's the best Modern Warfare game that's come out. Um, extremely polished, had a lot of great content. I mean, I that's just I don't think there's any arguing that. CS:GO uh, is great. Uh, I think it's probably on par with the Battlefield games, Call of Duty games. I I think it's great. Uh, it's not anything that's gonna you know just jump out at you, uh, but I think that it is uh, it is a great great game. This might be this might be tougher than I realized. I I told you guys this was gonna be skewed, right? I told you it was gonna be skewed high. Um, gosh, because I didn't play a lot of games that were just eh back then. Uh, Dark Souls one is a, is a masterpiece for me personally. And this is where I said that personal things, it, what games have more of a personal impact on me, Dark Souls 1 had a huge personal impact on me. Just, I remember when I got this game, I remember when I played this game, I was in Jackson, Mississippi at Jackson State University doing a undergraduate research um, at Jackson State University. It was the first time I'd ever lived away from home. I didn't take my PlayStation 4 with me. I took my PlayStation 3 with me, and I bought essentially two games i bought demon souls and i bought dark souls and my goal for the summer was to play through both of those games and i did and holy cow was i changed that summer just for the best in my just it unreal unreal dead space 2 i think dead space 2 is 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 great i think for survival horror fans it probably goes up to amazing it it just wasn't there for me um i don't think it's i i I just I think it's better than Bioshock 2. Bioshock 2's gameplay is really really fun though, but it's just it, anyway. Demon Souls I think Demon Souls is amazing. Um, I think it's on par with all these other games. Maybe down here a little bit more. I think Demon Souls has the potential to go down into the great category. But when I look at these games, like I said, I would probably rather play Demon Souls. Dishonored is great. Um, kind of the same issues that I have with Dishonored 2. Not really issues, but it Dishonored 2 is better than Dishonored was um, in almost every way. The stealth mechanics were better. The, the the characters were more interesting. You could pick between the two, which is, you know, great. Um, so there's that. Epic Mickey is all right, I think. I wasn't super big on it personally. Um, that's just me. I personally wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I think a lot of people remember this a little bit more fondly than I do. I know there was a sequel that came out that I never played. Um, but Epic Mickey, just I remember painting it, playing through it on the Wii, and just not really enjoying myself. I played through the whole game, and then I was like, I don't even... Like, it's not memorable. I don't remember any of it, which is, you know, saying a lot. Um, Fallout 3 is uh, amazing. I think that Fallout 3 is one of the best Fallout games that has come out. Obviously, we will talk about New Vegas as well. Um, they both have very similar um, gameplay mechanics and styles. I just think everything that Fallout 3 did was was Bethesda trying to set up what they wanted from Fallout going forward. And... They changed it all because they acquired the Fallout license, but Fallout was a like turn-based isometric RPG in the vein of like something like, um, like Baldur's Gate or something like that. They were switching it to a first-person RPG, first-person shooter RPG, and arguably the shooting mechanics in Fallout Three are awful, like horrible. So they put in that, so that's not the reason why they put it in, because it was horrible, but because they wanted to keep some of those turn-based elements and random chance. So they put in vats, and that changed the entire perspective of the game, made it so much better. Oh my gosh, such an incredible experience with vats, in my opinion. But essentially, if you take everything that Fallout 3 did, all the incredible writing, the incredible storytelling, the ability, this is when open-world games were not oversaturated with horrible, like, screen issues and effects. A lot of people don't like the, they like the mini-map a lot better than the, like, compass. The compass, in my opinion, is so much better. 
you look at other games that have a mini map versus games that don't have a mini map the games that have a mini map emphasize exploration or the games that have a, don't have a mini map emphasize exploration they emphasize that if you see it go look at it go find it yourself what's over there oh there's something in the distance that i see i can go look at it and go see what's over there there are very few games that capture that and while we're talking about it we might as well just throw skyrim up here too right why not let's just throw skyrim up here because it's kind of in the same vein as fallout 3 i don't like it as much as fallout new vegas but skyrim is essentially if you take the open world aspects of fallout 3 and everything that makes that game good skyrim is probably better than fallout 3 actually i think skyrim probably goes up here a little bit more yeah i think that's much more fair but fallout new vegas i didn't even talk about fallout new vegas fallout new vegas is everything from fallout 3 ramped up to 10 ramped up to 11 okay like it is the best rpg for what you get period you have so many systems that you can play with and play around with it is incredible and the fact that it's not made by bethesda proper that is made by obsidian tells you that obsidian had more of a foundational knowledge some of the original developers of the fallout duology or the fallout one and two worked on fallout new vegas with obsidian they knew it better than anybody it was just it's just an incredible experience everybody should play it Far Cry 3 is, I think, uh, I think Far Cry 3 is the best Far Cry game. I also think it's all, it's great. It's good. I don't have super fond opinions on Far Cry 3 any more than I do Far Cry 4 or Far Cry 5. Uh, I do think it's better than those. That's about it. Um, Final Fantasy 13. Ooh. About to get some flack on this one. I think Final Fantasy 13 is mediocre. I think it's good story-wise, but that's it. This is kind. Of, this is what I was talking about in the, in the, um, the Gen Eight tier list. How if a game has an incredible story, it doesn't mean that it's an incredible game, right? If your gameplay loop is not fun and not enjoyable, it's not a good game, in my opinion doesn't matter how great the story is that's not why i am playing the games i'm playing the games to have a good enjoyable gameplay experience that's why something like dark souls is a masterpiece to me personally dark souls doesn't have a very prominent story in it unless you go looking for it but its gameplay loop is so satisfying that it doesn't matter to me that there's a lack of a sort of in your face story I don't care about that. Bioshock is still better than Dark Souls uh, in it from an objective level, in my opinion. Probably would say New Vegas is better. For me personally, Dark Souls is really high. Anyway, that's enough about Final Fantasy XIII. Grand Theft Auto V is amazing. Grand Theft Auto V is amazing. Did we did we doubt that? Grand Theft Auto V is amazing. It's it's not my style of game. Um, open world game. Got a lot of stuff to do. A little bit more of the exploration style and not so in your face but mainly that's just because they don't tell you what to do at all really unless you've got a mission um i love rockstar games for the polish we'll talk about another rockstar game a little bit later that i think is just mm, we'll we'll talk about it in a little bit um <laughs> but anyway uh let's talk about inside and limbo i think inside and limbo are great I think that they are great. As far as indie games, I think they're probably amazing. Um, which uh, we'll talk about another indie game here in a moment uh, that I like a lot better than these. So um, I think these just are a little bit more... They're, they're really dark, which I really like. They have a very good gameplay loop, but it's kind of like a walking and jumping platformer side to side. Um, which is not my kind of game. The reason that you're playing these games are for the environmental storytelling, which they do better than a lot of other games, except for maybe Dark Souls. But when I think back on indie games, 
Inside and Limbo don't don't jump out as to me in the same vein as the Undertales and the Hollow Knights, right? And the Journeys. They they just don't jump out in the same way. So I think that for that reason, I have to say that they are kind of on this tier. Journey, on the other hand, is amazing. Uh, I don't think that anybody doubts that. It's essentially anybody who ever questions whether or not video games can be considered art. I say, have you played Journey? <laughs> Because Journey is an art piece. It's not a video game as much as it is a walking simulator through this beautiful environment. But because of that, you get this story of progression. There are cities in this world. There's an entire civilization that's lost. You can play through the entire game with another person by your side who is not a NPC. It is another per- human player all the way to the end. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful experience, unlike any other. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones is great. It's good, right? Yeah, it's it's good. It's uh, yeah, it's good. It's it's good, right? Um, I don't have very much to say about the Lego games. They're great. Uh, do I have Lego? The other Lego games on here? I don't. I'd probably put the best one being the Lego Star Wars. Uh, complete saga and it's probably only just low amazing to be honest maybe even high great they're good I played them a lot as a kid but they don't have the depth um, the long lasting depth that I I wish they did Um, Mario Kart Wii I think Mario Kart Wii is great Um, I played it a lot probably would go up here to be honest yeah let's just put it up there why not we'll put we'll put Mario Kart Wii up there it's amazing I played it a crap ton as a kid uh, it doesn't make it an incredible game but it does make it a very enjoyable game that I played a lot uh, so very fond enjoyment don't compare these one to one don't be like oh my gosh Austin said that, sa- that Mario Kart Wii is is better than uh, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 right like it, it yes I enjoyed it more but that's because it's not really comparable you know those two are not really comparable but I enjoyed Mario Kart Wii more now, uh, Mass Effect 2 is a masterpiece. Uh, I think that's not uh, unfair to say. Um, I think the entire Mass Effect trilogy is really, really good. Um, I think that Mass Effect 2 being the best of it, just it's kind of like New Vegas in the fact that you get so many options to play through. Uh, as far as RPGs are concerned, you just have so many things that are at your disposal that you can experience and go through. I... <laughs> Everybody should play Mass Effect, the whole series. You should play the whole trilogy because, uh, spoiler alert, Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect 1 are both amazing. Contrary to what you've been told about Mass Effect 3, it is not as bad as people say. 90% of the game is as good as Mass Effect 2. 10% of the game is bad. (laughs) And by bad, I just mean the ending is in, is is um disappointing right disappointing that you spent probably over 200 hours throughout the course of all three games for it to essentially all boil down to the same end effect that's not saying that the other 90 percent of the game that those choices that you made throughout those 200 hours is not affected right you people die people die that you love and care about emotions are emitted and honestly, I would probably put Mass Effect 1 as low great instead of high amazing. I think this one's probably as good as some of these others over here. Probably enjoy it more than Fallout 3, to be honest, as far as the story is concerned. I think Mass Effect 3 gets too much hate. Uh, Andromeda does does not get, you know, it also gets too much hate, but that's because we had a different standard then than we do now. Um, anyway, Minecraft is a masterpiece. Uh, I, I don't think anybody's going to, like, question why I put Minecraft as a masterpiece. It is It changed an entire, you know, jump-started an entire genre of games. Um, and so I think that um, I think that it's fair to put that as a, you know, just completely world-changing, changed my life. I play it a ton still to this day. You know, every three or four months, you got to go in there and be like, oh, well, I'm going to, you know, play Minecraft now for six weeks uh, because it's just, that's that's what the kind of, mood that you get into with these games so anyway incredible game very very good portal 2 i think is amazing i think that if you're a big fan of portal then it's probably more of a masterpiece as far as puzzle games it's probably one of the better puzzle games that exists i just don't think that it's as 
like it doesn't have any personal effect on me right it's really funny it's really enjoyable it's amazing game gameplay wise i just don't think that uh for me personally it elevates itself even above the borderlands the skyrims the fallout threes uh for me i think it's just kind of in that amazing category it's an incredible game but overall it just uh doesn't captivate me as much as you would think um undead nightmare i think undead nightmare is amazing I think it's up here with these three of the three games that I probably, two of the games I played the most. Uh, I think that Undead Nightmare, uh, and the reason I'll talk about Undead Nightmare Force is because I have a little bit more to say about Red Dead Redemption 2. I think they're kind of in the same vein. I think Undead Nightmare is the best DLC that has ever come out for a video game, ever. Period. And if you bundle them together, they're easily masterpiece level because Red Dead Redemption 1 is a masterpiece. Holy crap, he said. He said, like, his favorite game of all time, essentially one of his favorite games of all time is Red Dead Redemption 2. Why would Red Dead Redemption not be a masterpiece? Maybe that's why. All right. I had such high expectations for Red Dead Redemption 2 because this game set the standard for what I wanted out of an open world story-driven game. This game got me in the feels. It got me in the emotions. It's beautiful. It was beautiful when it came out. It still is the best Western game that you can get and that you can play. Like, it just, other than Red Dead Redemption 2, of course, it is a masterpiece in storytelling, in gameplay exploration, in open world design. It is that good, period. And from one of the best, I actually think this is probably right there. I think it's probably as good as New Vegas, maybe maybe yeah i uh, yeah one of those two i think it's in, it's incredible resident evil 6 is bad moving on I, no i mean resident evil took a step away from what made the series great in its survival horror elements back in resident evil 5 and a little bit in resident evil 4 but not quite so much but resident evil 6 is just the culmination of all that it has a survival horror story in leon's um Storyline, but the other two are just not as good. They're not enjoyable. They're not memorable. They're not fun to play. Overall, it's just not a good game in general, in my opinion. Super Mario Galaxy, though, is uh, is good. Is great. It's amazing. Um, both of them are amazing. I think both of these are better leagues, better than Odyssey, um, in my opinion. I think it's not even close. Um, I think that they are a little bit more linear than some of the level designs of something like Sunshine or Odyssey, um, which I'm not as big of a fan of, but the story itself and just the platforming is just, it's so fun. Like, it's some of the most fun that I've had in a um, in a Mario game. So that's, you know, there's that. Uh, also, Brawl is amazing. Uh, anybody shocked? Because uh, I'm not. Uh, it's an incredible game. And uh, I think that everybody should uh, stop hating on Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It has Subspace Emissary, which is, like, one of the best story modes in a fighting game ever. If not the... No, I dare say that Subspace Emissary is the definitive fighting game story mode. It's the best that, that's ever been made, in my opinion. And, you know, that might be some nostalgia talking, but uh, I think it's it gets way too much hate. Just because people love melee so much they hate on this game because it's not melee but they've done that to every single super smash brothers game that's come out after melee just because it's not melee like what they didn't cater to a competitive audience when sakurai never wanted smash to be a competitive fighter he wanted it to be a couch co-op family casual fighter game no this is the this is in my opinion probably the best other than maybe Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Story mode, this is the best. Fighting game, period. Anyway. Uh, the Last of Us is a masterpiece. <laughs> Did anybody think that I wouldn't say that The Last of Us is a masterpiece? It's, it's a masterpiece. I, I don't care what anybody says. If you don't think that The Last of Us is a masterpiece, you did not play the same game that I played. That game has some of the best survival horror elements in a game. There are some things that I don't like from today's standard, but I've played this game through five times. Five times I've played this game through. It doesn't change. It's not like Fallout New Vegas 
where every time you play it, you can play something completely different. It's the same game. But it is that good of an experience, in my opinion. It's got one of the best stories in gaming, some of the best combat in survival horror gaming. It's just that good, period. Telltale's The Walking Dead is uh, it's good. It's great. It's great. I'm not a big fan of Telltale games, uh, just in general. I don't like them. I think they're kind of boring. This is kind of what I was talking about also with the, if you don't like the gameplay, but the story's incredible, is it any good? In this case, yes, because it's like watching a movie, but I don't want to watch a 30-hour TV series, right? If I did, I'd go watch The Walking Dead. But it is better than The Walking Dead TV series. Leagues, play this instead. If you're going to watch a TV series, play this. Uh, Tomb Raider 2016 is is great. Uh, Tomb Raider 2016 is great. <laughs> uh, I think it's one of the better uh, Tomb Raider games. I think it's kind of on par with the other ones. They're all kind of the same. Um, I don't think it's as good as Uncharted, as we will see soon. Um, and just while we're on it, I'll put Uncharted Drake's Fortune in kind of like the low, mid, to great tier, and Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 2 in the amazing category. Um, I think Uncharted 2 is a little better than Uncharted 3, um, and I'll probably put these uh, probably more up here, to be honest. Let's put it mm, uh, right there. That's a good spot for it. Okay. So the Uncharted games are all great games. Uncharted 4 is great. Uncharted 2 and 3 are great. They have some of the best cinematic um, cutscenes in, you know, gaming. Oh, no, duh. It's The Last of Us developers. Like, they're just really good games. They're high quality. They are really polished. They look incredible. And the stories are really enticing and exciting. So, no, of course. Of course they're, you know, amazing games. But this is what the tier list looks like. Like I said, it's skewed up a lot. There are a lot of amazing games in this category. I'm sure if we went up into this tier and pulled some down that I, you know, either didn't play a ton of or didn't play at all, then yeah, maybe maybe it would be a little bit, you know, less skewed. But overall, I played a lot of good games in this generation and I have a lot of fond memories of it so leave your comments down below of what games you think should be higher what games you think should be lower what games I gave it unfair rack and should uh, sort of replay again if I need to change my opinions on things and I'll definitely give it a try so as always hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time peace out <laughs>